It's an exciting time when all the freshmen show up on campus. Uh, a lot of new talent, a lot of new faces, new personalities in the locker room. And it's fun for me getting to know them and uh, really pushing them to bring out the best in themselves. They also bring something new to the table, pushing me to be the best player I can be. We have a lot of opportunity to get stronger with Coach Will and, you know, and get in better shape. There's just so many opportunities to improve yourself. We just need to make sure every day we're taking steps forward and no steps back. You're doing these team runs and these team conditioning things together. And just you know, when you think you might not be able to make it or you think you've given all that you can give, you, know, you look to your left and your right and you see a bunch of guys that are right in the trenches with you, uh, gutting it out, and that really you know, lifts you up, brings you closer, and you get kind of a collective toughness. Army has been a tremendous experience for me, and so much more of what I'm learning with the Army, I'm, I'm able to draw direct parallels to what Coach K does here at Duke Basketball, and I don't think that should be any surprise. You know, they're both two incredibly successful teams, United States Army and Duke Basketball. What well, might have seemed like foreign concepts at first, you know, when I was out there at Fort Knox, Kentucky, sooner or later it started to click about placing the mission first, about what does our team need to win about making sure you all arrive at that end goal together, that no one gets left behind. These are all you know, ethos in the Army world, and for uh, you know, us here at Duke Basketball, they're standards. Uh, stepping into being captain is an easy transition when you've had so many people set a great example before you. I think the Quinn Cook, you know, Mason Plumley, Ryan Kelly, Seth Curry, you know, I've, I've gotten the chance to play for a lot of great captains and uh, see what they do, and I'm trying to apply that myself. I'm not doing it alone. I'm right there with Matt Jones and Emil Jefferson, and uh, we're just completely wholly invested in winning. And you know, you set personal ambitions aside, and uh, you just look at the team goals. And when you start doing that, uh, you really start picking people up, um, thinking, what can I do to you know, make this practice better, to make this lift better, to make this run go better? And we have a great group to lead this year, a bunch of guys who are willing to learn and want to work hard. My brothers have set a great example for me, and just like they've set a great example for me, I'd like to set a great example for the upcoming uh, Duke players for years to come here. You know, I've had brothers in Miles and Mason, but the more time I've spent here at Duke, the more i found brothers on the team. And I love having brothers, it's a great feeling. I love Duke, our family loves Duke, it's done so much for us. And, uh, we were so proud of being able to be a part of such a great program.